Well, hello. I hope that this video is finding you in good health and in good spirits. I'm having a pretty good day. Enjoyed my time away from the channel. And gosh, gosh, did I pick the wrong time to go off? So come back. She's complete chaos. And it really is. I was in touch with the news and trying to figure out what was going on, but it is one big swirling ball of energy. It is like trying to untangle a bowl of spaghetti. There's just so many things going in so many directions. So, and I don't know if this is going to work, but I thought what we'd do is start pulling the threads one at a time and see what we can pull out and see if we tease out enough stuff we can kind of get a sense of what's going on because right now it's freaking chaos man that is only way to put it deck that we're using today is the mystical gnome tarot by christine s hanley i love the little deck there will be a deck review of it sometime in the future but don't look for it before late fall because I've got a lot of these done, but they haven't dropped yet. Question for the cards. Is Kamala Harris in a position, energetically speaking, is she in a position where she can carry the torch for the Democrats into the Oval Office or not? Because, of course, there is a talk about Joe Biden being pushed out or encouraged to retire and slotting her in as the candidate finding another vice presidential candidate that is one of the threads that we have in this big old ball of wax and we're going to take a look on whether or not kamala harris has capacity to take the democratic party across the finish line and the first card in this reading is the four of swords in a reverse position. Four Swords, when it's reversed, is about stress and exhaustion and anxiety and restlessness. And that's what we're picking up. That kind of restless, riley energy that's just going around. People want to do this. Oh no, we should do that. We should do this. We should do that. We should do something else. Maybe if we did A, B, and C, blah, 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 blah. It becomes complete chaos. And it is extremely anxiety inducing and exhausting for the people that are trying to keep all these balls in the air and trying to make sense out of what is a very fluid and extremely dynamic situation so yeah buckle up guys here we go it is crossed by the six of wands now the six of wands this is a card that's about victory yay and success and winning and recognition and that is great but this is the crossed by this is the reason why this card or this time is just so restless and so anxious is because so much is riding on it right really the fate of fate of american democracy rides on this election and the knock-on effect of that is for those of us in the rest of the free world there's a huge impact on us so yes the who wins this election has become vital importance to many people in the past we have the five of wands but it's in a reverse position that's kind of queer because five of wands when it's reversed it's that argy bargy kind of juvenile energy which we have seen you know over the last week but when it's reversed it's about peace and truth and agreements and escalation like things moving building on in the past that's different right and i think as it, this week has gone on we are getting more and more of an indication that senior members of the administration and of the democratic party and i would suggest the biden family as well have been gaslighting everybody just a little bit right it's not as bad as we think it is and it's very stagecraft and very managed and all of this sort of stuff and i think one of the things now that the mask slipped during that debate was the question that's come up is how long has this been going on 
right? And I'm sorry it wasn't just a blip. It couldn't have been just a blip. Because if it would have been just been a blip, he'd have been out on the Toxo circuit the next day. Like Friday, he would have been on, you know, Jimmy Kimmel or one of those or Seth Meyers or something like that. Out joking, ha ha ha, here we go. Yeah, can I bone that? Carry on, dark brown, and lick an ice cream, let's go. Right? And that hasn't happened. Now, they've made a notice, somebody, I can't remember if it's Democratic Party or the White House, have come out that, you know, he'll have a big sit-down interview in a month. No, they're hiding something. And that is the agreement that's been going on. I'm convinced of it. Future. Future is the Ten of Pentacles. And of course, there's a lot of people that are involved here who are trying to maintain the good life for themselves and maintain their sense of privilege. But here's the problem. Presidents, kings, etc. don't have advisors. They have staff. And there are very few people that are looking after America's best interests. I mean, the Biden family their energy is being focused as it should on what's best for Joe Biden as a man, as a person, as the patriarch of their family, right? Nobody wants to be cruel. Nobody wants to say, Pops, you're losing it, you know, whatever. I totally get it. But that's also why the Biden's family Camp David summit is completely useless because of course they're going to do everything within their power to protect Joe Biden. And, you know, that that's understandable. It doesn't make them credible. In the sky of the reading, this is the overarching energy that we have here. We have the sun, and it's in a reverse position. The sun is about total elimination, uh, illumination. Things coming out, and like the glare of the sun, you can't miss it. I'm afraid that what is coming out is more of this kind of shenanigans and the gaslighting that has gone on. And that is going to erode people's confidence in the leadership of the party. Not just Joe Biden, not just Kamala Harris, but the whole thing. Because, you know, how long have you guys been in on this is going to be a question on people's minds. And there isn't really good answers. Right? And the Democratic Party to date has been about, let's hide it, let's shuffle it, let's throw it under the rugs. Oh yeah, he, he takes some cold medication or he was traveling a lot that night. Excuse, 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 excuse. Instead of coming up and being honest with the American people. And once that corrosive nature where you start mistrusting people, Man, that is just like an acid that burns and doesn't stop. It's deadly in any kind of political situation. In the foundation of the reading, we have the Emperor. And the Emperor is a card that is about logic and action and structure and protecting things. And so this really is, again, you have this institutional requirement for strength to be projected institutional requirement that yeah we've got this the structure is good things are holding yeah there might be a few rips in the wallpaper but basically the bones of this thing are good and that is being questioned message from spirit ten of wands in a reverse position Joe Biden is burnt out he has come to the end of his political career. He has been a good president. He really has. And I'm not anti-Joe Biden. I don't think he was the best president that ever was had, but he was a good president for the time and the place. The question is, has he got what it takes to continue on for another four years? And I think that is very strongly in doubt. And I think Spirit agrees with me. Now, in the environment, what's going on with people around, right? 
and here we have the page of wands page of wands in a reverse position this is where we're seeing the infighting right now all pages are messengers we'll pull the pages message at the end of the reading but you know it's in a reverse position so it's more than likely to be unfavorable news than not but the page of wands when he is reversed is kind of unimaginative and we're seeing this like deny didn't happen oh we have a simple explanation for it that is kind of one track that's going on here and another track as like very rebellious like oh yeah let's have an open convention and a brokered convention and like just blah 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 throw throw all covens and just like go 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 do the whole thing and then there's other can we can we push joe biden out and bring kamala in and all of this kind of machinations that are going on so yeah we have a lot of very rightly rebellious energy going on in the environment of the democratic party right now now hopes and fears we have the nine of pentacles nine of pentacles is a card that is about abundance and luxury it's about accomplishment and success and you know being materially and financially independent which is what everybody wants everybody wants the good things for america for for joe biden the man has deserved it the question is is but the question for the cards really has come out is whether or not kamala harris has what it takes to carry the Democratic Party forward. And the final outcome in this reading, we have the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, he's very loyal, he's very chivalrous, very charming, very much a peacemaker. You know, the problem you have with the, the Knight of Cups is he's extremely unpredictable. You know, he's the one that's you know we're going to do this that and something and then he veers sideways on you very very difficult not the kind of guy that you would want to to plant the future of democracy on let's put it that way now we had a page in the reading in the environment position we had the page of wands in a reverse position and the pages message is the knight of pentacles in a reverse position nine of pentacles when he is reversed is kind of boring he really is he's just kind of he's very dependable like you know very very dependable but not lighting anybody on fire very 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 unimaginative and that is the kind of words that come to my mind when I think of Kamala Harris. She does not strike me as an inspiring and dynamic leader. She ain't no queen of wands. And what we have here for the shadow position is the tower. On the tower is a card that's about chaos and calamity and disaster and destruction and revolution and disruption and you know hey everything's going to hell in the ambassador so what's my overall take on this reading one i really have a sense that you know the the dice is in right joe biden really is not in a position where he is capable of carrying on the people around him who have been trying to protect him the cat's out of the bag and so that needs to be dealt with and of course we have all kinds of factions that are pushing their own belief ahead one of those is that joe biden can be pushed into retiring and turning the campaign over to Kamala Harris. What goes with that? Final outcome was the Knight of Cups. 
that is unpredictable kind of idea. You're turning it over to a person who is largely seen as just not that inspiring. I mean, she's very loyal and, you know, she's very charming. She's nice to listen to, but I really don't see she's going to put the fire under anybody. And going with Kamala Harris, I think, is a tower moment, right? This is a really bad idea. Now, of course, free will is everything. It will be up to the party bosses in the Democratic Party as to make a determination as what's going to be done. They have to obviously come up with a, a candidate, and a nominee for the presidential contest, and their convention is the 15th of August. So we got lots of time for this to kind of uh, rile up some more. I think the fact that in the last week that the Democrats did not coalesce around Joe Biden just gives you every indication of what you need to know that things are not uh, going to come together, right? That four of swords uh, energy that we opened up with, the uh, Rileyness, just that restless energy is really got a life of its own and it's moving there. And the sun card in reverse is not giving me, you know, great feels, if you will. So I think Kamala Harris for the presidential candidacy is a good, not a good idea. And I could be completely out to lunch. So it wouldn't be the first time. So that's my reading for today. I will talk to you later. Bye bye for now.